Hi, you're watching Kolsky Drones, welcome back. Today we've got the H106 2.4 gig RC boat from Skytech Toys. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So we've got another boat. This one is a H106 by a company called Skytech Toys. It's also, if you buy it in different colours, it's got, it's in, it's in the orange version, it's Helifar, so it's exactly the same. It comes with everything exactly the same, the controls are exactly the same, the Helifar and everything. So in this one you get instruction book which is actually quite good the boat itself with a boat stand the transmitter and a bag of spare get the nose cone to put on if you're in an area with rocks just to make sure you don't smash your hull your charger your spanner some grease and somewhere in there yeah a spare prop so let's have a quick look at the controller so Unlike the JGR RC Latitude, which is, this is virtually a clone of, or one of them's a clone of the other, um, that has a typical RC car type with a wheel and a throttle on a trigger. This has your, your more RC aircraft one, so you've got throttle and left and right. It also moves in every direction. It doesn't work in the direction of the channel that turned off on it, but as you can see, the controller's very is multi-used so um, they, they must do this on a call or something else but it's quite nice in your hand it's quite a bit of stick tension on it, it feels quite nice actually I quite like it it's up to you which you prefer the wheel or the transmitter you've got your steering trim right, steering trim left throttle trim high, throttle trim low and then on here you just have a display which is more for using I'm presuming if you're playing a quad of an RC boat um, plane and this is the boat itself so really nicely finished off in a red and silver so you've got on the back you've got your stabilizers your prop and your rudder and then if you put the top off here you've got the water sealed the water sealed entry here and inside there you've got your servo your steering servo uh, two S lithium ion 650 milliamp hour battery uh, brushed motor which is water cooled and that's a water cooling pipe so it sucks up there comes round and back out there a bag of silica always needs to come out your connection for your battery of course and the ESC is under there and it's nicely covered in silicon and they've stopped water getting into it overall it's really nicely finished off I'm really impressed with the finish on this but it's very very nice um, for the money especially this, this comes in at £22 from Banggood which I think is a complete bargain uh, I don't know if it was on special when I bought it, but still that you, I've looked this morning before I've done this review and it's the same price. So you put your cover back on like that, clip it back on, and this is what forms a waterproof seal. So no water can penetrate that. You, well, at the end of the video I'll tip it and show you if there's any water in there like I did on the latitude, but we'll see what's in there. And then this is purely a decorative cover to go over the top to make it look pretty. And it does look a nice boat, to be honest. Runtime's about eight minutes. And if it's half as nice as the latitude, it should be really nice. Again, like most RC boats these days, it's got a sensor on here that will not arm the ESC until this touches water. When you put it in the water, you'll hear your ESC arm. So it, no matter what your controller is telling you, it won't have armed until it hits the water. Because this could do some serious damage to your finger. So overall, yeah, really nice looking little boat. I like the finish of it, and for the price it seems fantastic. So proof would be in the pudding to see what it sells like. But yeah, it does look really nice. I really am impressed with the finish of it. So like I say, about an eight minute flight, an eight minute flight time, an eight minute time for driving it in the water, which isn't bad off, the, off a battery that size. And it has got an alarm on here, I believe, to tell you when it runs out of juice. It's getting low to about a minute. If it does, unfortunately, tip, this simple matter when it's tipped is up and down with your throttle twice I think it is or left and right and it'll just flick itself back up which is a really nice feature so I don't think it's I think it's great for the money but obviously the proof is in what does it say like so let's go take it onto the water after I've got some footage of it on the water you've looked at that I'll come back and we'll have a discussion I'll just tell you what I really think about it and discuss whether it is worth the money but I think it's a no-brainer at the money. To be fair, if it's anything like the Latitude, then it's a real bargain. So, I'll see you after this video in a few minutes, and we'll see how it fails.
Okay, so you've seen it on the water. What do you think? I think it's really nice. It's very, very similar to the JGRC. I think this is a little bit quicker. It certainly feels a little bit quicker to me. It might be my imagination. But I also think I prefer this one because I like on the sticks better than the wheel. The cars on the wheel are fine using a wheel and the trigger, but the boat, it doesn't feel that natural to me. So I preferred doing it on that. So, as you can see, at the end of the video, I tipped it upside down. There was no water inside it whatsoever. Really nice, considering it's had some stick. I got about 12 and a half to 13 minutes out of it before the alarm went off. I can't tell you if I charged the battery fully beforehand. I can't remember, to be honest with you. But the alarm does work. I had plenty of time to bring it back in when the alarm went off on the transmitter. So I'm really, really happy with it. Again, for the money, I don't think you can go wrong. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't subscribed, please do. I've got more boats coming up. I've got a lot more cars coming up. A lot more planes and, of course, the drones. But the channel is going to get far more into other RC stuff over the next six months or so. So, once again, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. And don't forget to get some flying in. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.